Hey guys, what's up? Connor here, Portable Media Reviews. Today I have a very special review for you guys today. It's a review of the iPod Touch 4th Generation 8GB. Today I'm going to show you hardware and software and build quality and the going with the hardware and if it's worth the 229 or 300 or 400 dollars. So, alright, let's get into this first. Alright, so we're going to turn off this to begin. And, as you can see, I do not have many scratches on the back because I put it on the, this case as soon as I got it. It's got the rear facing camera, you got the power button on the right slanted a little bit downwards as is the volume buttons. This is no longer a volume rocker seen on previous generations. It is a, it's just two buttons. It's not a volume rocker anymore. On the bottom of the device you have the home button uh, and the headphone jack. On the right you get the uh, rear facing camera on here. So that's just the build of the device. There's not much on it I will say that much. There is not much on it. There's not m m many buttons, obviously because it's an iPod Touch. <laughs> All right. So um, sorry about that. Uh, hardware is good. It feels sturdy. Now, one thing has changed that you guys probably already know this, but the resolution of the screen has changed. It used to be uh, just a normal LCD uh, display, which it still is, but it was just a normal resolution. This is actually Apple's new Retina display that they've they, they originally implemented on the iPhone 4. It is now on the iPod Touch, obviously. So you can see. A few different things um, from past generations that are new. Obviously you have FaceTime, the camera app, uh, the ability to make folders. You can still do that on older devices, but not with the new, unless you, not unless you have the new filmer firmware. Uh, obviously Game Center is new. Again, you can do that with older devices, it just doesn't run as well. This also has a better processor. This has an A4 processor while the other models, previous models, do not. So it does run faster. It is guaranteed to run faster. Get to further from that. Alright, um, the front facing camera is, it's so-so. You take a front facing uh, image it's it looks okay. It's not great. Any means it's okay. <laughs> the back camera right here also has a uh, HD microphone on it. That's pretty cool. Built-in microphone. So now, but you don't get here. the cost of the HD microphone is for those of you that care. Is the new Apple Buds uh, do not come with a remote mic anymore. I think Apple was just looking for a reason to screw us over and include that. I wouldn't use the, I wouldn't touch the Apple iPod earphones anyway. As you can see, I haven't even opened them because I use my Beats, Dre, Beats by Dre. And if those don't work, I use my Monster Jams and Skull Candies and go on and on and on. <laughs> I have no need for those headphones. But some of you do not care simply about the audio quality and just want headphones, and that's a little downer because now you do not have the little remote. So, you know, you gain stuff, you lose stuff. Um, the refreshing camera does shoot. It, Apple says it shoots 720p HD video. If I had to be a judge of that, I'd say it's probably true. I would show you some video of it, but I will do that in a later video because as of right now, I do not have any audio, I mean video that is not private, that is uh, not private. I cannot show you all the video that I have on here. <laughs> but um, anyway, software. Like I said, the build quality is fine, no problems with it. Front facing camera is okay, meant for FaceTime obviously. The rear facing camera is really the one that you want to take videos with and pictures. It's it's just overall better. Now for front facing camera, for portrait video, ca ah, portrait videos, portrait camera, um, if you want to take like a profile pic for like your Facebook or your MySpace or your Twitter or your whatever, it's probably better to use this because you get you, you see obviously on the screen what you're uh, looking at. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, so yeah, that's basically the hardware. It feels very sturdy. It's very heavy. Here's my old Walkman. It's very light. Obviously, this does have a case on it. But the Walkman is very light to this. This does not work, if anybody is wondering. It, it's fried. <laughs> anyway, um, part of the reason why I got this. Anyway, let's go on to software. We've heard enough about the hardware. It's good. It's fine. Headphone jack is also fine, too. Forgot to mention that. Software is the big component. Obviously, this is an iPod Touch. Um, like I said, new things to the iPod Touch are uh, as is. 
You have FaceTime, which is a very new application. It is only on the fourth generation, obviously, because other generations do not have a front-facing camera or a back-facing camera. You, you have to use a front-facing camera for FaceTime, I should say. Calendar, that's that's been there. Photos has been there. Camera is new, obviously. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can get it. I mean, here. Here's a demonstration of the rear facing camera. Put this in front of it. As it looks like, the colors do look good. You can see the blue kind of looks different on my iPod than it does. <laughs> it does on the camcorder. It does look different. Here. Let's just test it here. Let's do landscape mood. Just testing the quality for video review of the iPod Touch 4th generation. 8 gigabyte. Hold on, let me get this off screen because. Alright. So, Kim Rule. Just testing the quality for video review of the iPod Touch 4th generation. 8 gigabyte. Okay. It's not bad. It's not great. It's pretty good, though. I did take it to my little brother's basketball game and it filmed a great video. Again, can't show you that because it has information. You can probably see what city I'm from. And I'm sorry, there's creepers out there. <laughs> um, Alright. So, one of the best features that I like about the new one, obviously, is the camera. But the thing that, that I like a lot about this new iPod is the fact that it has an A4 processor so it runs faster. The fact that it has a front-facing camera and a rear-facing camera. No one was expecting a front-facing camera. A few people were because of FaceTime on the iPhone 4. They thought that maybe they'd bring it to the iPod Touch to expand FaceTime. And a lot of people disagreed and said they wouldn't because it'd make it too much like an iPhone. But they did. Sure enough, they gave the refreshing. They did not make the refreshing camera the 5 megapixel that's on, you can see on the iPhone 4. It does not have flash, which is two big things that I do not like. It, it's kind of what separates an iPhone and an iPod Touch. So, um, yeah. Alright, so software, a big thing that I like about software is this. Folders. I just love them. <laughs> I don't know what I did without folders. It used to be that you'd have to jailbreak your iPod, and I do not support this at all. I do not recommend pirating apps or anything like that. I do not do it. I buy it straight from the App Store. And, uh, yeah. So, while I do not recommend jailbreaking anymore because this new iPod does everything, just about everything that jailbreaking it could besides emulators and all that. Enough about jailbreaking. I should probably stop talking about that. But the folders, it just makes everything so less cramped. It, sure, it cramps together those little apps or games or whatever, but it makes it so that you don't have to have a million pages. It's just so ridiculous. I remember having like nine pages on my old iPod. Nine! <laughs> it is ridiculous. I'm so glad Apple thought of the folder I did. Um, everything works fine on this. Let's do it. I already did a, uh, whoops. I already did a test of the internet, so if you want to see that, go to my first impressions internet test video. I did it versus the second generation. If you want to see the internet test or speed test all together, go back, go back, first first impressions video. After you're done watching this one. But as you can see, excuse me, as you can see, uh, first person shooters is one of my folders, so you can see there. Um, I just like to be able to categorize things, you got sports, you got shooters some of these are really new added games guys FYI just haven't just added Nova 2 just added Backbreaker 2 uh, nothing really new in there nothing new in strategy although I do recommend really quick Command and Conquer Red Alert really good game for 99 cents it's on sale right now go get it pretty fun I don't really play it much anymore but it's still a great game just did just get the Spider-Man Total Mayhem game 6.99 I missed the 99 cent sale but oh well I had the money and others, Angry Birds, and yeah. So, th I just love being able to categorize my games so I don't have nine pages and I'm thinking, okay, I need, to, I want to play Galaxy on Fire. I don't remember which page it's on. I'm going to have to go find it. Now I don't have to do that because I say, okay, it's a shooter game. So I go on, and there it is, Galaxy on Fire. I like it a lot, and I like it a lot better, especially than old, like, like I've been saying for the past two minutes just scrolling through countless pages. It's so annoying and I didn't like it at all. And it's, it's somewhat, it ran down the, it took down the RAM. I mean, it slowed the thing down by having so many pages. Now it helps a lot. 
Um, music. You guys may be wondering why I have a folder saying music down here. You can see here. It's because I have EQU, which if you've seen, sorry about this, guys. If you've seen uh, previous iPods or whatever, um, you know that the presets suck, and I'm kind of an audiophile. I have Beats by Dr. Dre headphones. This is a $300 headphones, so I want to get the best quality out of my music. Um, I'm definitely going to be with the app soon. Look for it very soon. It is a very good app. It replaces the music application, and it makes you be able to equalize at the same time. So it's great. You don't have to import anything. I will have a review on that soon. All right, that's my view for you guys. I definitely recommend if you have to, even if you have to work for this or you have a birthday coming up, whatever. Um, go get this. It is much better. I'm so glad this thing broke because even though it took me about a month and a half to uh, get together everything, I sold my PSP Go and I worked for the rest to get this. But I'm glad I did. I actually only had 170 at one point and was considering getting a ZHD, and I swear to God, I'm so glad I didn't get it. Um, this iPod is amazing. I love it. It really replaced my netbook. I haven't touched my netbook except for uploading videos, and now I can do that on a desktop, my desktop computer too. So um, not mine, but you know, uh, our desktop computer. But I really haven't used my netbook because there's no need. You got Safari, you got everything. The only thing that my netbook can do that this can't is uploading files to YouTube. Which, in a way, this can because if you take a video straight out of this camera, you can upload it to YouTube. But obviously, I'm doing a review of the iPod Touch. You know, I can't obviously do that on the iPod. <laughs> I will be taking one video. Don't know which one yet, but I will be shooting a video using the iPod Touch's camcorder. Look for that, guys. I'm kind of reporting me to reviews. One last thing to touch on. I'll have reviews up soon of EQU, which is the Equalizer app. Very soon of Nova 2. And um, my take on Angry Birds and Spider-Man Total Mayhem as well. Thank you guys so much for sticking to this 12 minutes. 12 minute long video. It's ridiculous, I know. I'm Connor with. Sorry about that. I'm Connor with iPod. With Portable Media Reviews. Sorry about that, guys. I'll see you later. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.